Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Salam aleikum. Eh Mheshimiwa Rais Dr. William Samoe Ruto viongozi wa kanisa ndugu zangu ambao mmekuja hapa kwa maombi na kwa Kristo wenzangu, Waislamu wenzangu na wale wote ambao wanaabudu ambao wanabaabudu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo na wasalamia hamu jambo. E, ni vigumu sana kuongea baada ya kusikia injili kama ya, ya tumesikia leo. E, lakini nitasema kwamba rais Mheshimiwa Rais langu kwanza ni kushukuru kwa kutupatia huu mradi wa Industrial Park pale nasewa Huu mradi naamini ya kwamba ukifaulu na najua utafaulu mambo ya barabara mambo ya maji mambo ya nini najua ya kwamba itakamilika because naamini kwamba industrial park is an ecosystem it's not a single project it's an ecosystem na baada other than vile watu wameongea busia inahitaji an art station ya Kenya Power mtukufu um, uh, mheshimiwa rais tukipata stress kidogo kwa national grid au ndugu zetu wa upande huu ambao wako na art station wanazima busia inakaa kwa darkness tutaomba as part of nasewa utulete hiyo art station tuweze kuwa na art station na mheshimiwa rais uh, katika kitabu cha sam tumeandika kwamba god always hears the righteous na pia tumesikia mahubiri ya leo na mimi pia nilikuwa nafundishwa kwa mahubiri fadhala ngine tulikuwa class moja na ye. so mimi pia mtanruhusu nihubiri kidogo leo <laughs> na kuhubiri kwangu nitaanza kwa kitabu cha ufunuo genesis ile kitabu cha mwanzo genesis kile kitabu cha genesis mungu alimuumba adamu na akamwambia achukue mamlaka juu ya yote ambayo alikuwa ameumba Mungu hakumwambia binadamu achukue mamlaka juu yake mwenyewe Mungu alimpa binadamu sheria Na pale binadamu alipovunja sheria akapoteza paradizo Na Mungu hakumuuliza Adamu uko na nini Lakini kwenda mbele Unaona Mungu ukimuomba Mungu huwa anakuuliza uko na nini. Kunaona nabii Elisha ya kitabu cha Kings alikuwa na alikuwa alikuwa huyu kuna huyu widow alikuwa anataka kupigwa auction. Akamlelea Elisha, Elisha akamuuliza uko na nini? Akamwambia kwamba ako na mafuta kidogo. Na akamwambia nenda kwa majirani zako uombe mitungi ujaze mafuta na ukauze na yenye tabaki itakuwa yako ukija Musa aliulizwa uko na nini akamwambia niko na fimbo na hiyo fimbo ikafanya kazi tukaja ukiwana katika Yesu miujiza yake nyingi kama ile ya kulisha watu aliwauliza muko na nini wakasema tuko na samaki na mikate akafanya muujiza pale Kanan kana akasema muko na nini wakawa na maji wakajaza kwenye mitungi na kila mara Mungu anatuliza tuko na nini sasa hapa Kenya leo tunalia na tunaulizwa tuko na nini na mheshimiwa rais mimi nakwambia uko na sheria tuko na sheria na tufate sheria watu wameongea hapa mambo mengi na unajua huko nyuma hii housing bill hii housing task a eh, tax hii sio mara ya kwanza kuja hata mzee uhuru alileta na ni mimi ni mmoja wale tuliichapa mpaka ikarudi kuwa voluntary na nimemaliza kusoma budget yako Ijumaa nimeisoma kila kipengele Ijumaa ina maneno mazuri ina maneno mabaya Watu sikudanganya hapa at kila kitu iko sawa. Na yale maneno mabaya ambayo yako 
pale mengi inafuruga katiba bwana rais wewe rafiki yangu hata unakumbuka ile mambo anasema ikianza nilikuja kwa ofisi yako transnational house nikakupata huko na oleka bwana oleka paro tukaongea tukaongea nikakwambia nataka kwenda kotini na naenda kupanda bus ya jioni niende niende bungoma ni file case uka di encourage ukachukua shilingi 1030 ukanipatia akasema tumia hii ikusaidie huku jua nilikuwa na shilingi 2000 peke yake <laughs> na nikaenda na tukafanya hiyo kesi ikaendelea miaka nane na nusu na kiwanja ndio hiki kilirudi kwa serikali na tena wewe sasa ndio unajenga industrial park so safari anasema ni safari yako ulichangia pakubwa kwa sababu nilikuwa na shilingi 2000 na ukanipa shilingi 1030 sio ilibadilisha mambo ndio <laughs> nasema wewe rafiki yangu lakini mbele ya katiba katiba ni rafiki yangu mkubwa kuliko wewe <laughs> na nimeangalia finance bill na finance bill inafuruga katiba kwa, katiba kwa vipengele kama sita na mimi nakuomba waheshimu katiba wazitoe kwa sababu wasipozitoa tunaenda kukabiliana kotini There is nothing to complain about but there is everything to fight for But let us avoid that fight let people not fool you here Let people not deceive you There are issues in that in that katiba where even the Supreme Court has pronounced itself that need to be honored we have things in that katiba kama hii housing uh, levy ilikuwa kwa ile nyingine na mimi nilienda kotini kaichapa mpaka ikarudi kwa voluntary sasa mnataka tena nirudi kotini when i rise tafadhali to raise issue tunataka kuunga mkono mimi na kuunga mkono nataka utawale kila nchi ya Kenya because if you succeed and i always pray for you when i wake up in the morning among the intercessions i make i pray for you as the president of kenya to succeed because if you succeed kenya is a better off for everybody but your excellency if you fail we all fail so i pray for you i pray for the pope and i pray for religious leaders in my intercessions so please i plead with you i've already prepared a petition to go to court <laughs> but when i had you are coming to busia i did not find it last week i held on i pray that we look at this bill if we can avoid having to go and fight in court we avoid but if we people are coming here to say that everything is okay and what have you then next week we shall be fighting in court and it's bad for friends to fight <laughs> thank you my excellency and god bless you Aya. Tumesikia ukio mtata. Asanteni. Sasa kabla sijaenda kipengee kingine nitatambua hatu kidogo lakini in case I have not seen you because of time utanipa radhi. Nataka kutambua my predecessor ambaye alikuwa gavana wa Busia ndugu yangu Sospita Odeke Ojamo <laughs> Nataka pia nichukue nafasi hii vile vile border town ya Malaba iko na msongamano mkubwa sana ya magari Saa zingine hata inatotia aibu pia hiyo border town tukimaliza budget yetu ya mwaka huu ya malaba tunaweka pia dual carriage way ili tuweze kuondoa hiyo msongamano na tuweke hali ambayo biashara itaendelea katika border town ya malaba na border town ya busia haya ni mambo ambayo tungekuwa tumekamilisha zamani lakini kwa sababu ya siasa siasa hapo imechelewa lakini it is never too late to do the right thing 
so we will do it so tutashirikiana tumeshakubaliana meanwhile bwana governor nitatumana hiyo barabara ianze sasa kushughulikiwa hata kabla tunangojea budget napanga panga vile kidogo ianze kushughulikiwa wakati tunapanga tunapanga budget barabara ya kutoka St Mary's hapa kwenda Burumba sio naita Burumba na yeye ilitengenezwa 1 km ikakwama hiyo barabara nitakuamua nitaitengeneza mpaka ifike mahali pale tulikuwa tumeipangia barabara ya kutoka Busia hapa kwenda mpaka Alube iko 40% nitahakikisha kwamba tunaikamilisha tunataka Busia County wakati tunapanga mambo ya maendeleo ya Kenya tunapanga pia mambo ya maendeleo ya Busia nimewasikiza kwa makini mambo ya maji mmesikia vile tumetangaza mambo ya dams dam ya Angololo hapa dam ya eh, Mount Elgon ambayo itakuja maji mpaka sehemu hii dam ya Kocholia hiyo dam zote tunapanga dams mia moja kubwa tunapanga dams zingine elfu moja zile ndogo na tunapanga pans water pans almost 3800 katika wizara yetu ya maji and we are going to align with what the county has so that as we do what we are doing nationally we are also finding the bearing in every county so that we can support every county tunaelewana jameni vile vile mambo ya stima nimesikia vile mmesema katika mpango yetu tunataka kuongeza watu 1015 in the next three months katika Busia County nitasikia nimesikia sehemu sehemu Butula kona fulani iko na matatizo nitaona vile tutashirikiana katika harakati hiyo Mwisho kabisa mimi nataka niwashukuru kwamba tumeshirikiana na nataka ni shukuru watu wa Busia na county government ya Busia na wabunge wa Busia na hata seneta wetu bwana Okia Omutata wa Busia kwa sababu ya kukubali ya kwamba sote tufanye kazi kwa pamoja tusaidiane si namna hiyo mambo ya uchaguzi jameni tulimaliza ile kazi imebaki sasa sio kushughulikia tena viongozi sasa tushughulikie wananchi hawa mahasla watu wa Busia sasa ni nafasi yao tuwapangie mambo yao. Na katika hii budget acha niseme vizuri na munisikize kwa makini. Katika hii budget mimi mimi si wazimu. I know what I'm saying. Na mimi si lewangi. Sio kama tunaelewana. So, katika hii budget nimeipanga vizuri. Kwanza kazi yangu ya kwanza niliwaahidi wa Kenya wa kawaida niliwaahidi mahasla wa Kenya ya kwamba safari hii mpango itakuwa ni kuwainua wale walio chini tufanye bottom up si tulikubaliana jameni na mahali tunaanzia ni pale kwa ajira hakuna vile unaweza kumuinua mtu wa chini kama hujampangia vile atakuwa na pesa kwa mfuko lazima tuwapangie ajira. Na nimepanga mambo tatu ya kupanga ajira ya hawa mahasla. Jambo la kwanza kila ward tumekubaliana na wabunge. Katika budget hii nimeweka pesa ya kupeleka ICT hub katika kila ward. Ndio vijana katika kila ward tuanze kuwapanga na digital jobs. Ili kijana hapa Busia anaweza kufanya kazi marekani bila ya kutoka hapa Busia kupitia mtandao number one. number two, tumepanga mambo ya agro processing value addition manufacturing ndio mnaona county aggregation and industrial park ya Busia tayari tumetangaza kwa sababu pale tunataka kutumia kilimo kuzalisha nafasi ya ajira ya vijana wa taifa letu la Kenya kwa kufanya value addition kwa kufanya agro processing kwa kuongeza manufacturing ndio tupange ajira ya hawa vijana mahasla ambao hawana ajira na jambo la tatu ni hiyo mpango ya housing hiyo mpango ya housing tayari county government 
42 counties tumesha kubaliana na county governments mahali ardhi iko ikiwemo county government ya Busia tayari Otoma has identified mahali tutakuja kujenga hizo nyumba hapa tunataka kujenga nyumba 1500 hizo nyumba 1500 tunahitaji vijana 1025 vijana wa Busia mko Mbona sikii sauti yenu vijana wa Busia mko Mko tayari ama mko tayari Mimi nasema hivi nahitaji vijana 1025 tupange mambo ya housing wale engineers architects quantity surveyors electricians masons carpenters wale wote pamoja na laborers wale ambao watatusaidia kujenga hiyo manyumba kwa sababu ni lazima tuwe na mpango ambayo itapatia vijana wetu ajira atuweze kufanya guesswork atuweze kuimba mambo ambayo haina mpango we must have a plan it must be deliberate and it must be practical sio kama tunaelewana mko tayari tupangane huko sasa Unajua kuna watu wanajaribu kuleta porojo ati kusema oh sijui housing fund inakatua ina 3% eh, sijui mimi nataka niulize eh, nyinyi watu wangapi wako na kazi hapa weka mkono kama uko na kazi kama uko na pay slip uko na pay slip wale watu wanapata pay slip weka mkono juu haya